Unraveling phrasal verbs. Mastering, set forth, without mistakes. Hello learners, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to unravel the intricacies of one particular phrasal verb, set forth. We will cover its meaning, its usage, and most importantly, the common mistakes that English learners often make with this verb, and of course, how to avoid them. So, let's dive in. Set forth is a phrasal verb that can mean several different things. However, it's commonly used to indicate the beginning of a journey or to present an idea or plan clearly and in detail. Let's look at some examples. The explorers set forth at dawn. He set forth his proposal for the new marketing strategy. Now, let's delve into the main part of our video. The common mistakes learners often make with set forth and how to avoid them. Mistake 1. Misusing set forth instead of set off. A common mistake is using set forth when you should use set off. Although both phrasal verbs can mean to begin a journey, set forth is often used in more formal or literary contexts, while set off is more common in everyday speech. Wrong. We set forth to the grocery store. Correct. We set off to the grocery store. Mistake 2. Forgetting the fourth in set forth. Many learners sometimes forget to include fourth when using this phrasal verb. Remember, set alone doesn't convey the same meaning. Wrong. He set his ideas in the meeting. Correct. He set forth his ideas in the meeting. Mistake 3. Misplacement of object. Another common mistake is misplacing the object when using set forth. The object should follow the entire phrasal verb set forth, not come between set and forth. Wrong. She set her plan forth during the meeting. Correct. She set forth her plan during the meeting. Now, it's your turn to practice. Here are a few practice sentences. Try using set forth in a sentence about a journey. Use set forth to present an idea. Write a sentence in a formal context using set forth. Remember, the more you practice, the better you'll become. That's all for today's lesson. Folks, we hope that you now feel more confident about using the phrasal verb, set forth. As always, remember to avoid those common mistakes and to practice as much as you can. Join us in our next video where we will continue our journey of mastering phrasal verbs. Keep learning, and see you next time.